once you see that one person break the ceiling, the one woman that breaks the ceiling and that does the thing, then all of a sudden you start to see this rush of other people that that go through the, the broken entrance that they've created for it. We're talking about Women's Equality Day. I just think it's a great opportunity for us to look back at all of the amazing work that's been done to date and to recognize that there's still a lot of work left to do. I couldn't agree more that it is important to take a moment and honor those who have worked before us so hard with unbelievable courage to go forward and to provide the rights that we enjoy today. But it's also important to remember that we can all do our part, even in small ways, to advocate for other women, to support women in our community. Women's Equality Day is every day. It should become part of our DNA. And we are voices within our organizations, within our companies, within our teams, and we should speak those voices and work to make it better for other women that perhaps aren't at the same experience level as us or have a, a voice at the table like we do. When I was in elementary school, there was always this belief, this statement that you can dream anything and you can achieve it. But I don't necessarily think that people believe that that was true. I remember talking to my grandfather. In his mind, women could only have a few professions, a nurse, a teacher, a secretary, some sort of administrative professional. It was pretty limited in his brain what women could aspire to become. And I remember becoming an executive, becoming a leader within organizations, having a seat at the table with other leaders and feeling like this is really where the change starts when we really do have a seat at the table anywhere we want to be that there are women as astronauts there are women potentially as presidents there are women as ceos there are women as venture capitalists and on wall street there are women everywhere and i think the more it becomes a reality that you can do anything, the better we all become as a community, as a, as a society. I know as I was coming up in my career, I had certain role models and, and women who really were strong advocates for me and offered me opportunities that I didn't even believe my, I could do it myself, but they believed in me. If this is something that you aspire to do, then you should reach out to another peer, uh, another woman leader and and really voice your career aspirations. Let them advocate for you. Let them coach and guide you. I believe everyone should come in and determine what their career aspirations are. And we should work collectively as an achieved community to make sure you can get to whatever you are looking to achieve within your, your profession. We all need that. We all need that. Uh, but especially if you are the only woman in a meeting. You need that support. We can all do that every day. And I would just encourage everyone to reach out in their community and to support women in other ways in your community. It doesn't have to be just at work. It's in our everyday life. It should be around us and surround us. We become that advocate for women everywhere we go. It's, it's realizing that it's a two-way street. I've had the benefit of serving as a mentor to several other women organizationally. And I will say, I have learned just as much from them as I hope that I have provided them. And rather than it being them asking me a question and me answering it with some sort of advice or counsel, it's been a conversation. A lot of it has been, you know, how's your day? How is everything going? How is the juggle? And owning that, letting that be a part of your personality, letting that be not something that you shy away from or you're afraid to share and that you lean into that and you make that a thing that you bring to the table and a benefit to people that understand there is more to you than just the job that you do. We are people with many, many things, many talents, yes. many other things that we participate in in the community or with our friends and that that all makes us up as, as a person. And so from my perspective, being in those mentor mentee relationships, they have reminded me that I'm more than just this 
And I can do the same for them, show them the value that they have and how they're growing and what they should be striving for and how they should be asking for those next opportunities and leaning to to all of those advancements. We're not islands. We all are experiencing the same things. We're all mothers. We're all spouses. We all have lives outside of work. And so we have so much more in common that we can really support each other and empower each other. And I think we're on the precipice of some great change at Achieve. And I get excited every single time I see a new female leader enter the organization because I know it just, it's a rising tide. Everyone gets better when we've got great women on the team. Do it for the ladies. Right. (laughs) 